All right, let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs, the back-to-back Super Bowl champion, undefeated Kansas City Chiefs. We are legally required to say that. We are not just saying that because we want to. It is by law. And, folks, this is a Chiefs team coming off an emotional Week 2 victory. They had some tough injury news, but they are about to make a massive move to help mitigate that. Great sign for Kansas City. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, like I said, the Chiefs coming off an emotional victory. I don't know how they do it. They just find ways to win. That's what the great teams do, and the Kansas City Chiefs obviously are a great team. But the injury bug is hitting them at a couple key positions. But like all smart teams, Veach and company this front office, they're about to make some really smart moves to help mitigate that risk, at least during this early to middle part of the season. Let's pull up this report, and then we'll talk about it more on the other side. This is courtesy of NBC Sports. With Isaiah Pacheco set to miss significant time with a fractured fibula, the Chiefs appeared headed for a reunion with a veteran running back. According to multiple reports, Kareem Hunt is slated to visit with Kansas City on Tuesday. Hunt, 29, was a Chiefs third-round pick in 2017. He led the league with 1,327 rushing yards as a rookie with the Chiefs and also caught 53 passes for 455 yards. But Kansas City waived Hunt in November 2018 due to some off-field issues. Hunt was suspended for the first eight games of the 2019 season after he signed with the Browns. He spent the last five seasons with Cleveland, appearing in 15 games with two starts for the club last year. He finished with 411 yards rushing and nine touchdowns in 2023. All right, Kareem Hunt can get it done. He can perform at a high level. He's still got a lot of tread on those tires. He split a lot of time with Nick Chubb and with the Cleveland Browns over the past half decade. This looks like a really smart move by the Kansas City Chiefs. Mize, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Chiefs fans, in the comment section below, look, obviously, an emotional, just incredible Week 2 victory, back and forth, crazy plays across the board. Obviously, there's some guys that stood out having some really nice games, but I want to hear from you guys. Give us your MVP from that just massive victory over your rival, the Cincinnati Bengals, finding finding a way to get it done. Give us your MVP of this big Week 2 victory. Put them in the comment section below. But Mize, what are your thoughts on this latest Chiefs news? I think this could be season altering for the Chiefs because we know the Chiefs, they don't really need a ton at running back to get the job done. And as I said, you know, Clyde Edwards Lair on IR as well. You really need someone to come in who's serviceable. And I think you you hit the nail on the head. Kareem Hunt, he's a guy, and when he was with the Chiefs, he was the guy. But when he went to Cleveland, he was behind Nick Chubb. So this is a guy who has a lot. He was there for five years, but he wasn't getting starting reps in those five years. This is a guy who has so much tread left on the tires. I think this could be a really, really smart addition for the Chiefs. A guy the organization is familiar with. A guy who they've done a lot of great things with. If you look at what Chubb was able to do in his two years in Kansas City, 82.4 PFF grade there, 81.6 PFF grade there. Uh, in 2017-2018 uh, respectively, this guy had his best years in this Kansas City offense. This guy had his best years with Andy Reid. He did pretty good in Cleveland, you know, averaging out probably like low to mid-70s throughout the last five years. But this is a guy who did some of his best work with Kansas City, and I think he's coming back to a situation where he's got he's got a chance to break out. He's got a chance to come make it a homecoming, you know, right some of the wrongs that happened. He had the off-the-field is- issues. Uh, he, he had to leave the team unexpectedly, goes to Cleveland, kind of went under the radar there. Now I think this is his chance to bounce back onto the scene. I expect if everything goes according to plan, if Kansas City is able to sign Kareem Hunt, pass all the physicals, whatever he needs to do to get that going, this could be a big move for them because this could be a guy, Kareem Hunt, that isn't just a serviceable replacement. This is a guy that probably if he stand, uh, stayed with Kansas City and didn't leave, He would be one of the bigger running backs in the league. He would be getting those Nick Chubb-sized contracts. This is a guy who has all the talent in the world, but you're getting him in a bar. You're getting him at a major deal in in a time to make that ever-present third potential back-to-back-to-back Super Bowl run. I think having a guy like Kareem Hunt on the team could be absolutely massive for Kansas City this season. Yeah, and it's just classic smart moves by the Kansas City Chiefs. It's what they do. If you have to add a player midseason due to injuries and you're contending, which the Chiefs obviously are, you want to go with a veteran. You want to go with a guy that's been in playoff games before. I'm always confused when – and every good team, it seems, or one or two good teams a year, I should say, 
They get in a situation, they have a guy go down with an injury, and they throw in a rookie. And I'm like, what are you doing? Well, you're supposed to be a good team. Why are you throwing a rookie fifth-round draft pick out there to just really hurt your chances to win football games? It's just it's just dumb football, right? But we see a lot of teams do it, and it really hurts them in the middle or early part of the season. They lose some winnable games, and it just derails their season. The Chiefs are being smart. They are not doing that, right? They're going out getting a veteran, Kareem Hunt, who's been there before but can still be incredibly productive. He's obviously played in the Andy Reid system. He knows a lot of the terminology, right? Uh, you know, he knows, frankly, a lot of the coaching staff. All the guys have come back, right? He obviously knows Kansas City, the locker room, all of that. So he'll be able to come in and slide in very early on and just have a immediate impact for this team. And they're going to need him, right? Because, again, with Pacheco out, would you – look, I love Carson Steele. Love him to death. Great story. I don't want him to be the primary focal point, especially on normal running downs for this offense. I don't. Maybe two years from now, but not when you're trying to make history. Bring back a veteran. Bring back a guy who's been to a Pro Bowl. Bring, bring back a guy who's been to playoff games. And like you said, getting him at a steal. This is absolutely perfect. This is, again, it's just what they do. It's just a smart move after smart move after smart move. There are so many contending teams. I look at, I'll, I'll bring up a great example of a team in the Dallas Cowboys and a team you know, Mice, that I'm a big fan of. This is a team coming into this season. They lose a corner due to injury. They throw a fifth round pick. He's getting toasted, right? They lose their running back in the offseason. What do they do? They throw, throw in a guy who hasn't played basically his entire career and they try and re sign Ezekiel Elliott, who hasn't been good in four years, right? That's just dumb football. That's what the Cowboys do. That's what teams that underperform do. What do the smart teams do? The Kansas City Chiefs do? They make moves like this. It's just great decision by Brett Veach and company. Again, under the radar move, but massive decision by them. I think, again, this is this is why they're good, right? Mahomes is fantastic. Andy Reid's a great coach. But these roster decisions is what really puts them over the top.